Today's video is based on timeless pieces. It's so important to have timeless pieces in your wardrobe instead of constantly buying new things. That it's so good to have the same thing in your wardrobe knowing that yes, I've had this for a while. I wanna show you guys some timeless pieces I've had for about three plus years. And yeah, before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you guys. In my opinion, it is so important to have timeless pieces in your wardrobe. It's also really nice and um, sentimental to just know that, oh, I've had this for like five plus years, or I've had this for 10 years, whatever. It's really nice to have that in your wardrobe. And for me, personally, I have that. And I wanna show you some of the pieces I've got. Now, for me personally, I think it's so important to have a color blocking blazer. Introducing my bad boy. I've had this girl for about eight years, literally you would have seen this blazer in my sheen video i paired it with my sheen trousers but this was actually from very i got this about i got this in 2014 if i'm not mistaken yet 2014 so it's been a while for a hot minute and as you saw in my sheen video it matched the trousers you see what i'm saying like it's always good to just have that one color blazer um i went with pink because it was somewhat safest but colorful option it was an outgoing color but at the same time it wasn't too like Ooh! in your face at the time um even though it's a really really nice fuchsia pink again i've had this for i've had this since 2014 so nearly 10 years i love this blazer every time i wear it people are just like oh yeah you said you look you know i think it's so important to have a good blazer a good sturdy blazer in your wardrobe collection also you should have a tweed one um i think tweed will always be around tweed is not going anywhere she ain't going anywhere she's like that she's like that std just can't get rid of <laughs> i'm joking but um Tweed is so important to have, and this is why I've had this girl. Um, I've had this tweed blazer for four years. Such a beautiful blazer. I love the finishing on it. Um, I got this from River Island. I bought this, again, four years ago. Such a good blazer. It's so thick, padded. You know, it gives that extra volume. It always makes me look sophisticated every time I wear it. You just can't go wrong with this blazer. Um, I do think it's important to have one tweed blazer in your wardrobe. Just uh, Even if it's just one. Just have one, you know? Um, again, this is mine. I just want to show you how it looks. Oh, gorgeous, isn't she? And it's long. And it's just nice. It's a really nice, sturdy, tweed I don't know if you can see that it's got elements of gold in it gold thread it's really nice i think you should always have one tweed blazer in your in your wardrobe always have a blazer in your wardrobe it is important to have a blazer in your wardrobe a good color one a black if you can um but black is paramount black ugh, it has to be it can't be a black that you can just wear to work it has to be a multifaceted kind of blazer where you can wear it out you can wait to work you can wear it on a, a like you know anywhere casual look and sophisticated look at the same time it is important to just have a good blazer in your in your wardrobe besides the blazer you also need boom satin shirts so nice to have in your wardrobe it, again it just adds that extra class in there um i bought this from m and back in 2018 can't go wrong best investment i got this for 30 pound absolutely love it it is such a nice plain shirt to have in your wardrobe and i also got this one from h&m i bought this in 2020 or 2021 one of those two years but it's, she's still a young babe she's new to the to our to our lifestyle you know she's the latest one um i've got three from h&m because h&m are currently doing this thing where it's all about the silk shirts you know that kind of satin look rich vibe that i love 
So this is currently going for $12.99. If you want one, get it in H&M. I will put the details in the description box. However, I believe this one, because I did get this um, back in 2018, I'm not sure if it will be there, but they should sell something very similar to it. Both shirts you can't go wrong with. I love it because I can pair it on a casual, but I, at the same time I can wait to work if I'm trying to, you know, look that extra sophisticated. Um, 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 you know, wear it with some nice jeans and um, bada bing bada boom, you know? And it always works. I love it because again, you can wear this with a nice blazer, like I just said, or your tweed one, like I just mentioned. You always need one of these shirts in your wardrobe always have a good satin shirt it just adds that extra class in your wardrobe i don't know if you guys are aware but fur is coming back fur hands are coming oh sorry fur hands are coming back now i got this back in i think it was 2020 you know since COVID, I can't lie, I don't remember years anymore. I think I got this back in 2019. But please correct me if I'm wrong, because many of us have this shirt. I remember wearing this out, and I wore it to a party, and two other women were wearing this with me. And do you know what you can't even lie and say, oh, I can't remember where I got it from. If you can't do that, because we all got it the same day. You know, you can't lie like that. Um, fur is coming back the fur hands are coming back i feel it coming because i've seen so many styles of it so it's always good to have one of these in your wardrobe and it doesn't have to be this one exact or you can even make your own literally go on aliexpress buy feather and stitch it onto a shirt that's literally the look everyone's doing now i will even do a video on it do you know what that actually make that gives me a good point it's not to segue but i'm gonna segue I will do a video of it. It's so easy. I will show you guys how to do it because honestly, you don't need to break the bank. You just don't. And if you can't find it, it's okay. We maneuver, we move. I will show you guys how to do it. It's so simple. But it's good to have one of these in your wardrobe. I don't see it leaving anytime soon. And I might even wear it soon. I might actually wear it soon. Yeah. I've had it in my wardrobe. I'm not going to, I'll be really honest. I haven't worn it since. But it's because every time I want to wear it, because the hands are so big, it never fits my jacket. So I always have to wear a poncho. And sometimes I just can't be asked to wear a poncho. And also, a poncho is also good to have in your wardrobe. I've had my poncho for 12 years. And every time I wear it, people still ask me, oh, your poncho looks cute. And I'm like, thank you. Always good to have a poncho. This next one I'm about to show you. Let's just take a moment. There was a time our beloved Princess Diana wore it and everyone went crazy. Absolutely crazy. And what was that? LBD. LBD. That's all I'm going to say. Everyone needs an LBD. You got that right. If you don't have an LBD yet, I'm here to tell you right now, run to the shop and go and get yourself an LBD. And it's the kind of LBD, you see? Oh my God. Whoa. I'm on your fine, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Look at that fine, babe. With the nice zip. And it is those kind of House of CB um, bandage dress, no movement, so cute. <laughs> love it. I love a good LBD. You can't go wrong. You always need an LBD in your wardrobe. Because if you're like me and you just jump into random people's parties and you don't know what to wear because you don't know the theme of the party, that LBD will help you. Someone actually told me not to wear um, black to a wedding and I just looked at them like, oh, okay, who's listening to that? Um, I'm gonna wear a black dress. I don't care what kind of event it is because you can't go wrong with an LBD. If, the, if Diana, Diana, <laughs> God bless your soul, Diana, you know? LBD aside, the next one, 
it goes without saying this thing turtle necker i new to this savage may not have a neck <laughs> you know we still manage we do what we have to do um i love turtlenecks because you cannot go wrong with a turtleneck i have this one is a new one and i'm only showing you this one because i love the color but i've got turtlenecks in my wardrobe that i've had for three years um i always buy new turtlenecks because why not turtleneck will always be in fashion no matter what it's, it's an amazing piece to have for winter and sometimes autumn as well just depending on what kind of vibe you're trying to go for if you don't want color turtlenecks you should just get a simple black one because again there's nothing wrong with black black goes with everything you get it okay. if you don't get it forget about it you understand you guys know if you know me you know me if you know me you know me i love shoes 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 i absolutely love shoes now some of the pieces that i think is so important to have is not so much those kind of transparent ones which is now the latest thing i personally i've moved more away from the transparent ones um is it called perpex or whatever you want to call it i don't know why they don't bang for me like they used to anymore it's not my thing to go to anymore but if, if you still have it it's still good to have it might it will always be there you know i think with those kind of transparent perpex heels it will always be there so it's not going anywhere so it's actually good to have that in your wardrobe it's just i personally don't like wearing them anymore because i just it doesn't suit me one of the important shoes to have is a good court heels now these are my um top shop heels r.i.p top shop i've had this since 2017 16. these shoes come on you know <laughs> am i really gonna say much you know look at that it is velvet emerald green absolutely love this i got this for 68 pound at the time absolutely worth every penny when i wear it i always feel you know it's always good to have nice court heels it doesn't have to be this style it doesn't have to be this color but it's just always good to have one good court heels like this with a good height on it besides the court heels it's also really good to have straps now i have these heels that i bought from asos years ago absolute many many years ago like back in 2018 I've had this for a long time and it still does the job. Absolutely love these heels. Um, you can't go wrong with them. Um, it's so old. Let me just show you how old it is. It's starting to unfold itself. Now, if you don't like heels and um, some people just don't like high heels, it's okay. Good short mule heels is also good to have. I got this from Kurt Geiger. You know, sometimes it's not always about wearing high, high, high heels. Sometimes you just need some nice short mules like this. Go for it. Really good to have one of these short kind of heels and one good pair of heels and one good strap heels. So you have, give, I've given you three options because it just makes it easier for you when you're going out and about and it gives you better choices. So I hope this video has been able to help you guys. I hope you were able to you know, get some pieces in and if you need anything else do let me know in terms of other staple pieces that you should have in your wardrobe i will do another video about this if it gets good ratings so you guys know what you need to do subscribe like share and comment but thank you guys so much for watching have a great one